On Saturday, Lone Star Park wrapped up its 20th anniversary celebration with a big night of quarter horse racing. Wrapping up the fall meeting was the richest horse race in Texas, the Grade 1 Texas Classic Futurity. It featured All-American Futurity third place finisher Hot Stepper and four members of the Trey Wood Stable. Stay with us for an up-close look at the racing from Grand Prairie, plus season-ending races from Will Rogers Downs and the Grade 1 Super Derby on this edition of the Weekend Wrap-Up. Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by American Quarter Horse Association, Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie, and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Jim Byers. Let's begin with the other big race from closing night at Lone Star Park, the Grade 1 Texas Classic Derby. The purse here is $384,355, and the distance is 440 yards. Trying to pull off the Texas Classic Futurity Derby Double is High Plains Perry. This Trey Wood trainee has earned almost three quarters of a million dollars, thanks in large part to last year's Texas Classic Futurity win. The only rider he's ever had, Ricky Ramirez, gets the call on this two to one second choice. Fastest qualifier Duponte is the eight to five favorite. The grade one Heritage Place Futurity winner last year, Duponte has spent this season qualifying to multiple major derbies without yet taking one of their rich finals. He'll have Rodrigo Vallejo aboard. Starting just outside of him is a political Chad, another grade one winner from 2016. After taking last year's Ruri Doso Futurity, he ran fourth in the All-American. He's seeking his first final win of 2017 and a six to one under GR Carter. And they're off. And a very rugged, awkward start for High Plains Perry. Heading toward the lead is Graceful Eagle. Graceful Eagle out fast. Here comes GR Carter with a political Chad way on the outside. Duponte still with some work to do. Political mess on the inside. A political Chad on the outside and Graceful Eagle, a political Chad. He's no stranger to big races and neither is his rider. All time leading quarter horse jockey GR Carter. What an effort by a political Chad. Fighting off a tremendous challenge by Graceful Eagle with Percy Jones up late for third on the outside. Now six for 12 with a pair of grade one scores. A Political Chad is an Oklahoma bred gelding by A Political Jess out of the Shizu Mare Fast Prize Tracy. Afterward, Carter spoke with Rodney Nelson and gave all the credit to the horse. Political Chad uh, just run a flawless race and made the jockey look real good. He uh, left the gate really well right on the lead. In the last 150 yards, he just made a nice a nice run and, uh, and pulled away from him and, uh, and made me real proud of him. A political Chad was bred by Wetona Stanley and W.E. Smith. He's trained by Wes Giles for a nine-person partnership appropriately called Nueve Racing. The time, 21.525 seconds. Will Rogers Downs in Claremore, Oklahoma also featured a multiple stakes card on Saturday in the Black Gold 440 Championship Return. More than $282,500 was in the purse as Cloud Ridge went postward as the four to five favorite in this restricted grade three. Number five, Captain Force leads late, but look at the remarkable rally on the far outside by number seven, Cloud Ridge. He broke slowly, repeatedly bumped a rival early, and swung out for a rally that put him on even terms with Captain Force at the wire. It's a wind dead heat. Captain Force was ridden by Edwin Lujan for trainer Hippolito Michel Valverde. Captain Force is a Kentucky bred son of Captain Courage, owned by Pedro Andazola. Cloud Ridge wins for the fifth time in seven starts for owner breeder Randy Davis. The Oklahoma bred Cloud Ridge is the son of Carter's Cartel, trained by Stacy Caps, ridden by Berkeley Packard. The time here, 21.956 seconds. Here's another restricted grade three on Saturday at Will Rogers Downs. This one matching state breads in the Oklahoma Horsemen's Association Mystery Futurity. Number three, PV Queen Bee Candy is the two to one favorite. 
Now taking over is PV Queen B Candy. Far outside, painted wine wagon closing swiftly. It's still PV Queen B Candy. Outside, painted wine wagon. Photo finish could go either way. The outside Philly painted wine wagon is up in time to get the winner's share of this nearly $187,000 purse. Jimmy Brooks aboard for trainer Eddie Willis. Painted wine wagon is a PYC paint your wagon filly, bred by Flag Ranch and owned by Larry Rice. PV Queen Bee Candy and neck back in second with the Valiant one third. Final time for 350, 17.587 seconds. Up next, a pair of grade ones, the Los Alamitos Super Derby and the Texas Classic Futurity. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at oqhra.com. We're only about a month away from the champion of champions at Los Alamitos. And that means the races available to gain automatic spots in that track signature race are winding down. On Sunday, one of those coveted places in the Champion of Champions went to the winner of the $921,500 Los Alamitos Super Derby. These three-year-olds go 400 yards. Favoritism was nearly even between Kissed by an Eagle and LD is back. With the six, LD is back, the slight two-to-one choice. Where they go in the Los Alamitos Super Derby and Shazak got off to a beautiful start to the extreme outside of Pitmelodelli. Trouble in the middle part of the track for the favorite LD is back. Jess Moss is running a strong one. Kiss by an Eagle trying to close it as well as Jess Moss and Catelladelli. Shazak has the advantage on the outside though. And Cody Jensen, Shazak take the Los Alamitos Super Derby. Shazak wins his second grade one and both came in mega races. Last year the Edward Million and this year the Super Derby. The Texas bred son of Corona Cartel and grade one winner All About Ease. Leads all the way here for Red Hot trainer Jaime Gomez. Bred by Bobby Cox, Shazak is owned by Dutch Masters 3, which also owns part of runner-up Catella Deli. Cody Jensen, the winning jockey, as Shazak ups his career bankroll to $948,600 plus. Catella Deli and Kissed by an Eagle were next. The time, 19.762 seconds. The major themes heading into Saturday's Texas Classic Futurity involved a pair of trainers. One was Trey Wood, who qualified five horses in the trials and started four after one of them scratched. The other was Sleepy Gilbreth, whose stable has a renewed profile thanks to Hot Stepper. The Texas Classic Futurity is a 400-yard contest with a purse this year of $873,616. Starting on the inside is Cartel Cupid. Trey Wood's leading candidate, according to the wagering public, at 5-2. He's won three straight and keeps Ricky Ramirez in the saddle. Speaking of the saddle, back riding races on Saturday for the first time in four years is Roy Baldiez. He's aboard the fastest qualifier, Legacy Eagle. A close second to Legacy Eagle in the trial, and third fastest overall is this as an Eagle. He's the Sam Houston Futurity winner and 5-1 to one third choice. The 8-5 favorite Hot Stepper qualified second fastest on trial night after running third in the All-American Futurity. As usual, Cody Jensen is aboard. The busiest horse in the field is the Cartel of Miracle, making start number nine. He was beaten only a length in the dash for cash Futurity while running seventh. And they're off. Cartel Cupid away running right on the inside. Starfield is alongside. Factual basis is up with them. Toward the outside, the Cartel of Miracle in the orange is making a big bid. Then this is an eagle and Hot Stepper on the far outside. The Cartel of Miracle from between runners coming to the wire, gaining on the outside. Hot Stepper as well. The Cartel of Miracle and Hot Stepper in a Texas Classic Futurity. The favorite was in gear late, but the Cartel of Miracle holds on over Hot Stepper, and this is an eagle. The score by far is biggest win to date. Manuel Gutierrez, the winning rider, as this Texas-bred son of tough and good, and the mayor, It's Jess a Miracle, overcomes a bump at the start for a 13-to-1 upset. The Cartel of Miracle was bred by Jose Estrada and races for Mauro Luciano Villarreal. Now four for nine lifetime, the Cartel of Miracle provides 21-year-old trainer Alonso Neri with his first grade one win. Afterward, he spoke to Rodney Nelson. He did an awesome job. I couldn't ask anything more than him. 
you know, he bumped a little bit off to the side a little bit, but he ran an awesome job midway. He started pulling easy. I saw him win about halfway down the stretch, so he did a really good job. Now, 21 years old, uh, this is your first grade one win. What is it? Yes, it is. What, how does it feel to um, pick up the biggest race in the state of Texas? It feels awesome. I don't even believe it for myself. It feels really awesome. Um, you know, something that everybody wants to win, you know, a grade one event. So I'm really appreciate for everything that's happened tonight. All right, what's the next step for the horse? Gonna rest him for now, make sure everything turns out okay, and talk to the owner, see what he wants to do. But hopefully everything's okay with him and we'll see from there. The Cartel of Miracle goes the 400 yards in 19.8 seconds. You're not just my horse, you're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. That's all for this week. Be sure to keep up with RaceView Network for full coverage of the sport's biggest races and fastest horses. I'm Jim Byers. On behalf of the entire staff and crew, thanks for watching, and we hope you'll catch us next time on the Weekend Wrap-Up.